Well, hello and welcome to this edition of EV Revolution Show, my Tesla Time Out shorter series. Thanks for very much for tuning in. Thought I'd start off this uh, Tesla Time Out episode by talking about my uh, experiences with the Model 3 over the first few weeks of ownership, how it compares to the Leaf, and then I'll show you a few accessories that I've been uh, adding to the Model 3, of course, as I continue to grow out that. Um, the main difference, I guess, Obviously, you know, it's, it's it's a much different vehicle than the Leaf and the Model 3, so it's not a, a, a great fair comparison. Um, more so the Leaf Plus to the base Model 3 would probably be fair from a range perspective. But even in that case, they are different marketed cars. You know, Tesla is at the premium luxury and Leaf is, is at the mid-level, I guess. If I can't really say exactly the trim there, the level they're going for. But they are different vehicles. The Leaf is shorter wheelbase, more nimble. It's got more than enough acceleration for it, so I do miss being able to zip in and out. But but in the same token, I have not had any issues in, in maneuvering within traffic with this vehicle. It's got tons of torque uh, and horsepower. It's got more than I actually use. I, I drive it in chill mode. Um, so from a driving experience, it's a heavier vehicle, it's bigger, but it's really taken me no time to, to learn this. Um, I've learned the touchscreen in a matter of, of hours, really. Uh, it hasn't really been an effort to learn, and I know a lot of people are concerned about that. I, I tell you folks, once you get in this and drive it for a little bit, looking, finding the speed display, finding where everything is, understanding some of the shortcuts, it, it, it becomes pretty easy. Um, I did have a service call. I had my first service appointment this week, um, which was a great experience, I have to admit. Um, it was very great. Um, I ended up having to go to a service center because they uh, I had a wind noise in this this uh, window, the driver's size door and uh, window, and they ended up having to take the door half apart to fix it. So they gave me a loaner. So um, the service experience was great. They fixed what they needed to do. I also had the home link installed. So the overall experience in the first couple of weeks has been extremely positive, which I thought, which I knew it was going to be in, in all honesty. Um, the main thing for me in driving this car is to really get used to the amount of power that it has. And certainly night and day, depending on the leaf, it's very quiet. Um, it, it's one of those cars you just get in and just drive. Don't worry about the, the electronics, the electric. Don't worry about the range, the charge. Uh, that's probably the biggest takeaway from this, guys and gals, is that I, I changed the, the battery readout to show percentage uh, rather than range because I'm really not thinking about range. Where I did more so on the Leaf, especially in the colder temps, I, I had to think about it more, plan my trips, plan what I was doing for the day. With this, I don't even think about it. I, I'm, you know, we're already taking weekend day trips where I'm doing you know 300 kilometers without even thinking about it. Um, right now in the fall, to, to see the beautiful fall changing leaves and the temperatures are getting cooler. So that's probably the biggest takeaway from this. And again, I know they're not a fair comparison and, and I would not, Act, you know, compare really. I mean, I know on paper you can compare the the SR Plus uh, to the Leaf Plus uh, as far as range and price points. They're fairly close, but to me they are different vehicles with different use cases. Um, and you know, I do miss having a hatchback at times, but again, I don't haul tons of stuff around, so it's not a big deal uh, from that perspective. Uh, and this has been fun, really, really fun to drive. So hopefully that helps a little bit, and I'll continue to report on my experiences and things that I learn and find out and about the Model 3 as I move forward. Now, hopefully stay tuned for a few accessories that I put on this vehicle. All right, one of the other accessories from RPM Tesla is this license plate kit. Uh, it's a, for a Model 3 and Model Y, as you can see here, and it works pretty good. Um, like I said, yesterday it took me more time to actually install this. Keeps it away, still lets me use my uh, EV Rev Show front plate for advertising the show and keeps everything away and it looks good. Definitely watch the installation video, you'll need it. All right, so another accessory I got was this carbon fiber-ish uh, cover, I guess skin, for or decal for the Model 3 and Model Y charge points, actually from RPM Tesla, and it both fits the 3 and the Y, and you can watch the installation video, but it's pretty straightforward. It's 3M, you just peel and stick. So let me put it on, I clean the area, and I'll put it on, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's what it looks like afterwards. It's got a little cutout, punch out that you just pull out so you can see the Tesla logo through it. Um, that's it, just kind of peels and sticks. Took me just a couple minutes to position, get it uh, as close as I want, and it looks good. Okay, another uh, item that I wanted to uh, cover was uh, there's a carbon fiber and I guess other different uh, effect materials for the side uh, cameras and the Tesla turn signals. So this is something from Abstract Ocean. It's a satin carbon fiber effect. And basically you get two of these, one for each side. 
Uh, it's got the Tesla logo on it, which shows. And it's all this tiny little 3M tape that you have to peel off these stickers. That's the hardest part. It's just trying to peel it off without peeling off the whole thing. And then you just press for 30 seconds or a minute, and then it fits. Uh, it also comes with an alcohol swipe so that you can clean the area. So I'm going to put it on and show you what it looks like. All right, and that's what it looks like put on. Nice, sleek fit, and uh, hopefully it'll last. Okay, and another accessory uh, from Abstract Ocean that I got are these vinyl door uh, handle uh, decals for the Model 3. Uh, I don't believe the, for the Model Y, but it does say for the Model 3, and there's instructions here on uh, how to do it, application tool, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'll try them on. I'll show you what they look like. So for these uh, handle covers, um, you just peel them off the plastic. They're 3M. And then you just uh, eyeball it and work out the bubbles. It's pretty straightforward. I did everything with hand. There's no special tools. And then you basically just peel this plastic cover back and uh, they're nice and on. So I'll do that and I'll show you what they look like. And that's what it looks like with the uh, plastic cover. So just work your way, take your time. It'll only take me a couple of minutes for each handle. I let it sit for a couple of minutes with that plastic on it and then I just peeled it back and they look really nice. All right, last couple of items. This is a an, uh, inside kind of rubber bottom kit, I guess, for uh, for the Model 3, for all the little cubby holes, cup holder, all that kind of stuff. So this was from Tesloid Canada that I purchased as well. So that's no installation. You just put those into the settings. And the last other thing that I'm going to review or that I'm going to show you is the uh, matte tempered glass screen protector uh, from Abstract Ocean. This I bought as well. Uh, I wanted matte because uh, I'm fine with the amount of with the uh, brightness of the screen as it is. It's actually too bright. So I don't mind having it dulled and I don't want the glare um, that I get uh, in some cars. So let me install that. There's a great installation video on there with a template. That's the reason I got this one because it has a real easy template. You just snap it on and this thing kind of self installs. So I'm gonna do it now. I left my factory screen protector on, the piece from yesterday from the pickup so I wouldn't get it dirty. So um, the uh, installation on the website is perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll show you how it looks. All right, so there's the matte protector on. Um, it's looks perfect. I mean, and, uh, I had to peel it one corner off just slightly. I had one little air bubble in the application. I didn't have it 100% centered in that template they provide. So it was like a mm, quarter of a millimeter off. So, uh, but I was able to get it out really easy because I like this because it self seals. So you don't really have to do much work. And as you can see, uh, it works good. Different angles. I've got some backlight here. It's sunny in the back now and uh, works good. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tesla Timeout. Just again, some more accessories from various sources. Uh, I do have some more stuff from Tesloid Canada that I'll, I'll be uh, reviewing uh, coming up as well on a future show. Just waiting for some more, some last stuff to come in. They've been back ordered on some things. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this and uh, we'll talk to you later. Everybody stay safe.